Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with the exercise 18.4 of the chapter menstruation. But before going for the exercise, we'll be learning the various formulas which we are going to use in this exercise. Here in this exercise, we are going to do the question based on the surface area of the cube, cuboid and cylinder. So first of all, we are going to learn the formula for the surface area of cuboid. Now here we are having this figure which is in the shape of a cuboid. Let's suppose this box as the shape of the cuboid. So here if I just calculate the area of all the standing part that is this one, this one, this and this one. We are not including the top as well as the base. That one is known as lateral surface area. Lateral means the standing. Standing portion mein jitna bhi area hai, that will be considered in a lateral surface area. And the formula for the lateral surface area is 2L plus B into H. Here. 2L plus B is the perimeter of a rectangle into height. So, when we talk later surface area, ki baat hogi, we are going to multiply the perimeter by the height. Now, if I include the top and the base also including all of the side, then we are having 6 faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, here we are having 6 faces and the formula for the total surface area of cuboid is 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. Now, let's go for the cube. Now here we are having the figure of the cube in which all of the edges are of equal length and we have taken the length as A. So the later surface area of this cube is 4 into A square. Now later surface area of cube is also calculated by the formula perimeter into height. Here the shape is in the form of a square. So perimeter of the square is 4A. A 4A ko height se multiply karenge. So iska height bhi A hi hai. So 4A into A is 4A square. Then we are having this total surface area. In the total surface area, along with the later surface area, we are going to include the top and the base surface also. Or top or base surface be square ke shape nahi hai. So, this ka bhi area A square or niche wale ka bhi area A square hi So, in all, 4 to pahle si tha, 2 or include ho jayega. So, 6 into A square is the total surface area of cube. Now, the next figure we are having of cylinder. Now here we are having the shape of cylinder in which this is the radius and this one is the height of the cylinder. And the later surface area is taken as the curved surface area in the case of cylinder because it's because the lateral part is the standing part is curved shape. Mein. So we also call it as a curved surface area. And the curved surface area of cylinder is 2 pi rh. Yes, it is the cross section in circle ke form. Mein. So circle ka jo perimeter hota, that is 2 pi r that is circumference of circle into height that will be the later surface area of the cylinder or the curved surface area of the cylinder. Now the total surface area mein iska ye circle or ye circle include ho jayega. That is we are going to add 2 pi r square for the total surface area. So here we get total surface area as 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Ab yahan pe 2 pi r ko humlo common le sakte hain and we will be getting h plus r. Here we have got the total surface area of cylinder as 2 pi r in a bracket h plus r. Now let's begin with the exercise 18.4. Now here we go with question number one of this exercise and the question number one is the surface area of a cube is 384 centimeter square. Find the length of an edge and the volume of the cube. Now here in this question we have been given with the surface area of a cube. Jab bhi hume sirf surface area diya hoga, we are going to take it as a total surface area only. So whenever it is not mentioned whether it is a curved surface area or later surface area then we are going to consider it as a total surface area. Ab yahan par hume sirf surface area mentioned kiya gaya so we are going to take it as a total surface area and here we have total surface area of the cube that is 6 into a square equals to 384 and a square will be equals to 384 upon 6. Ab yahan pe solve kar lete and this will give us 6 and 4. So a square equals to 64 or a ho jayega the root of 64 that is equals to 8 centimeter. We also have to find the volume of this cube. So the volume equals to a cube and it is 8 cube and that is equals to 512 centimeter cube as answer. Now let's see question number 2. Here we have find the total surface area of a solid cylinder of radius 5 centimeter and height 10 centimeter. Leave your answer in the terms of pi. So here in this question we are not going to place the value of pi. Now here in this question we are having radius 5 cm and the height 10 cm and we have to leave our answer in pi that is we are not going to place the value of pi in our solution. Now let's find the total surface area of the cylinder and the total surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r r plus h and here we get 2 into pi into r we have got 5 into in bracket 5 plus 
10. And here 2 into 5, we got 10. 10 pi into 5 plus 10, that is 15. So it will be equal to 150 pi centimeter square as answer. Now let's do question number 3. Here in this question, we are having an aquarium is in the form of a cuboid whose external dimension are 70 centimeter by 28 centimeter by 35 centimeter. The base, side faces and the back face are to be covered with a colored paper. Find the area of the paper needed. Now here in this question, we are going to put a picture in an aquarium. Now if we suppose to an aquarium, suppose kar lete in this one, we are going to put a paper over here, over here in the base and at the back. Side. Now, two sides are empty. That is the top one and this one. Where we can see the faces or the aquarium. And the upper one is ventilation. Ke liye. So, we have to cover the remaining four sides. That is the two side one and the one back side and the base. Now, to calculate the area of paper needed, we have used this formula. In which this portion, this bracket ka portion diya hai, big bracket. Mein, this is going to give us the lateral surface area. That is this portion. That is side one, the two side and the back. ये जो पोर्शन है जो सामने का पोर्शन इसको हम लोग ने यहां पे रिमूव कर दिया है लेंथ इनटू हाइट लेंथ इनटू हाइट से इस पोर्शन को हमने यहां से हटा दिया देन वी हैव एडेड द बेस वन जो किसका बेस है लेंथ इनटू ब्रेथ नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस फार्मूला टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ पेपर नीडेड नाउ लेट्स प्लेस द वैल्यू सो वी हैव गॉट 2 इनटू एल वी हैव टेकन 70 सो 70 प्लस बी वी आर हैविंग 28 इनटू 35 minus L into H, that is 70 into H, we are having 35, then plus L is 70 into B, we are having 28. And on solving this, we have 2 into 98 into 35 minus 70 into 35 and plus 70 into 28 equals to 1960. And here we get 2 into 98 into 35 equals to 6860 minus 70 into 35 equals to 2450 plus 1960. Now the difference of these two is 4410 plus 1960. And the sum of these two is 6370 centimeter square as answer. Now let's do question number four. Here in question number four, we have the internal dimension of a rectangular hall are 15 meter by 12 meter by 4 meter. There are four windows, each of dimension 2 meter by 1.5 meter and two doors, each of dimension 1.5 meter into 2.5 meter. Find the cost of whitewashing all the four walls of the hall if the cost of whitewashing is rupees 5 per meter square. What will be the cost of whitewashing if the ceiling of the hall is also whitewashed? Here in this question, we are having a hall of dimension 15 by 12 into 4 and the window is having a dimension of 2 meter by 1.5 meter and the door is having a dimension of 1.5 meter into 2.5 meter. Now, we have to whitewash the wall excluding the window and the door. So, here we have the latest surface area and the door and the window we have subtract the window and the window. Now, here the area of wall to be whitewashed, we are having 2L plus B into H minus 4 into L1 into B1. Here we have L1 B1 se isko alag kar diya taki isse koi confusion na ho. So here we got 4 into L1 into B1 minus 2 into L2 into B2. Kyunki 4 windows hai or 2 doors. Now we are going to place the values of all of it. And here we have 2 L we are having 15 plus 12 into height we are having 4. Minus 4 into 2 into 1.5 minus 2 into 1.5 into 2.5 and here on solving this we have 2 into 15 plus 12 that is 27 into 4 minus 4 into 2 into 1.5 that is 2 into 1.5 is 3 and 3 into 4 is 12 minus 2 into 1.5 into 2.5 and here we have 2 into 1.5 that is 3 into 2.5 now on solving this we have 2 1 6 minus 12 minus 3 into 2.5 that is 7.5 and here we have 216 minus the sum of these two that is 19.5 and the difference of these two is 196.5 meter square and the cost of white washing will be 
196.5 into 5. So here we get 196.5 into 5 and this is equals to rupees 982.50 as the answer for the first part. It is also asking if the ceiling of the hall is also to be whitewashed, that what will be the cost of whitewashing. So the area of ceiling is L into D of the hall. So here we are having 15 into 12. So 15 into 12 and this is equals to 180 meter square. And the cost of whitewashing this area will be 180 into 5. That is equals to rupees 900. And the sum of these two that is total cost of whitewashing will be 982.50 plus 900 that is equals to 1882.50 rupees as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.